How do you get customers for free? Today we'll go over what it takes for a startup to get free customers. Now, let's recognize the fact that social media is the best channel nowadays for us to get any clients. And that is why everything will be done directly on Facebook. Now, in order for us to start, we need to understand that faith, do it, putting any money on Facebook ad is a really big expense, especially when you don't have too much capital to begin with. If you just randomly put your money on Facebook ads thinking that this will be the best way to start, this is actually incorrect. And in fact, what we're going to go through today is a really effective strategy on finding your customers free of charge on Facebook. Previously, we talked about cash flow being the most important thing for your business. The moment you lose your cash flow, your business has to go bankrupt. And this is exactly why we, we have to, when it comes to getting our clients, we need to first think about what are the clients that can help us to get the short-term cash flow and the type that would help us to get the medium and the long-term cash flow. Now, on Facebook, the private Facebook page that everyone can register for. Basically, whenever you register on Facebook, the profile account, the account that you have, that is called a private account. Now, now this is what we call the private account. And we want to designate our private account for our short-term cash flow. Facebook also allows each individual to create a Facebook page using the existing account. So if, there, if there's anything that you want to advertise, including yourself, your, your, your name as your own brand, you can also create a public page. And typically, for the purpose of this class, we, we use our private account to generate our short-term cash. And the public Facebook page to generate our medium, our middle, and the long-term cash flow. Now that we know that we use our private Facebook page for our short-term cash flow, and the public Facebook page as the medium and the long-term cash flow. Now, let's dig deeper into how, what a private account is like on Facebook. Now, typically you have like a banner and you're allowed to put a picture of yourself and it shows the details, who you are, where you live, what you do, and then some contents about your Facebook account. Now, a Facebook public page is essentially similar to a, pri a, a private account. The only difference is this. A 
private account allows you to add a maximum of 5,000 friends. Versus in the public Facebook page, you can have unlimited. And this is the exact reason why we use a private account for the short term cash flow because once you so in the short term you're going to try to add people using your private account but for the long term eventually you want to move whoever is on your private account onto your your public Facebook mainly because it's unlimited. We start to introduce the steps you need to find your customers for free. Now first, get your private Facebook page ready. Get it set up so that when people see your page, they know exactly what you do. And say in the case if you have like a um, steak restaurant for senior, what happened is you put a really beautiful banner about uh, your service, your product, what your steak, what your steak dinner is about, and you talk, uh, give your details about who you are, where your restaurant is, and what you're good at. Basically, fill your private account with all kinds of attractive information that you think the senior customers will want to know. Now, the second step is to find, is to profile these dream customers. Now, just using the same, uh, the same, that, uh, that state restaurant for seniors as an example. Now, we already know that the age group that we're looking for is over 65 years old and typically these people if they like to do dinings then maybe they're from uh, at least like a middle income family middle income and then if they must be careful about their, their eating habits because they want to be healthy. So maybe we can add some more criteria like uh, healthy eating. And maybe your, your senior customers, they like to travel as well. So, Basically, whatever you can think of, create a profile of the perfect customers that you want to get. Get as much details as possible. Now, once you have these details, you use the keywords. And say in this case, healthy eating or over 65 or travel use these keywords, look it up on Facebook, and you shall be able to find different groups. Now, if you go into these groups, some of them, they require you to register, and some of them don't. So, so, either, so register if you need to, but once you get into the group, you try to look for the people who actually do commenting on in that group. Now start to add the people who gave comment in this, these groups by adding them as friends. Now, some people may ask, well, we don't know each other. How are you sure that they were actually as a friend? You're absolutely right. They actually don't know you. But assuming that 
you have joined that group, meaning that you share common interest. And assuming that your private account shows common interest that's similar to these potential customers. When they see that you share at least one or two common interest and the fact that you also belong to the same group, there's a 50% chance that they will add you as a friend. Now, also another question, why, why do you only pick people who give a comment? It is a very good question because the people who give out different types of responses, some people they just uh, say like, but there's some people who actually take the extra step by actually putting a real comment there. Now, would you say that someone who comments on the page would actually be more personally interested in 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 the certain in that certain subject more than the people who just show a like obviously they're willing to actively participate in the topic and and it shows that they are more genu genuinely more interested and this is why because they show a more they show more affection to that topic that is why the chance of converting them into your customers is higher than the people that just simply say put a like or don't like. Now, the person is going to flip through your pers your private account page and and just to find out okay uh, okay so what what are you about and okay so so okay at least we belong to the same group and we have like shared common interests. You have a 50% chance that either they will add you or they won't. Assuming that they add you, then what happened is once you have added them, send them a message. And I will show you exactly an example of what that message is about in a sec but send them a message and if they are interested in the message that you send them they will add you as a as a as a friend and starting at in starting that moment whenever you put a post on your facebook page this person who just added you they will automatically see what you post and this is the reason why in the previous lessons that we, you have to work hard on doing your posts on Facebook because the more you do it the more they see it and naturally they got they, they become they know you they become familiar familiarized with who you are what you do what you're interested in and the fact that you talk about what they want and that's why they is they gradually they they will trust you and may potentially even buy your product now the two important points i need to mention here now your private page only allows for 5000 people to be added as a maximum and because of that, after you've added, a certain, added some people as your friends, if you notice that they are not just not interested in your service, you shall just remove them so that you can make space for new friends to join your Facebook group. Second thing is, every single day, try to spend about two hours to add 40 people find 40 people who like from these keywords add them try to add them 
onto your Facebook page. Sorry, private Facebook account, so that and this is the way how it goes. Now imagine when you have、uh, initially you have forty people. And the reason why it's forty is because Facebook only allows a daily limit of adding forty people to your private account. And once you exceed it to forty, they will block you and make sure that it's only forty people. Now, once you get, say, assuming that you invite forty people, and and maybe uh. Only twenty, only half of the people will truly add you as a friend. So the conversion rate is about fifty percent. And out of the twenty people who have you added as a friend, maybe only about ten people will become interested in in your product and. And by the time when you really have friends who buy your product, maybe maybe it will be like a, say just a, a fraction of the original number. And this is exactly why spend two hours every single day to make sure that you you、uh, you have enough people to join you as a friend and. Imagine if you're able to get, say, five people who will eventually join you on your Facebook. Then, after say、uh, two or three months, if you keep having five people every day, then five or three months later, that will become a really big number. And imagine how much money. You can generate from that big amount of people. Example is you invite forty people, and then only twenty people accept your friend request, and only about ten people are willing to really talk to you, assuming that they like the message you send. Now imagine if you keep doing this for about ten days. You have one hundred people willing to talk to you, and can you imagine how much money you can generate from one hundred people? That's already a pretty good amount. That is why, using this method, you shall be able to generate a short-term cash flow for your business. Just using this method for free. Another part that's important to talk about is. After someone who has added you as a friend, and in order to get them to talk to you, you need to send them a message here. Now, whether they talk to you depends on the quality of this message. They don't because they don't want to just just talk to anyone that they don't even know. And I'm going to talk about. What this message is about, I think I'm going to give an example. Now, using this as the example, the steak restaurant for seniors. Now, a message example would be like this: Hi, my name is David, and I open a steak restaurant for seniors. I'm just wondering if you know any friends of yours. Who may be bored of always eating at home and finding the food boring or not nutritious? Because we tailor a lot, a lot of amazing food for seniors who care about eating healthy and also very tasty. Now, <laughs> if you know anyone. I would be available to talk 
to like two only two of your friends because I'm really busy. And I look forward to talking to you. But if you don't know anyone, it's fine. Now, the advantage of putting out this message this way is first, because you're only asking about his or her friends, not that person himself. And that's why when the subject that's being directed to is not that person, his or her pressure is a lot lower. So he will lower his guard down. That's point number one. Point number two, because through your research about this person, you already know that he is interested in eating healthy. And that's why whatever you're offering, you know that for sure you will capture the interest. This potential client feels that whatever you're offering is really relates to what he needs. He will definitely be proactively answering back to in the hope to get in contact with you. Now depending on how it goes, you shall even get them to have a meeting face to face. Now I also provide another example as well. Now assuming that you are a uh, headhunting agency looking for talents, it's the, an example of a message that you can deliver to this client. Hi, my name is David. I work for a headhunting uh, agency that's looking for accountants who may have trouble finding positions and that's why I would like to offer some help here. Now if, per, if conditions permit, I'll be able to meet only two people, only two accountants today and help them to find new clients. This is my number if they are available, uh, would love to set up an appointment. Now, because in this example, you're saying that if permissions allow, what that means is you're, show, you're, you, you're showing them that you are also a busy person, that they also have to qualify in order to get your help. And that's why it gets across to this prospect that you're not really begging for uh, begging to sell what you're asking for but instead you're here to help and you also state that you can only see two people and this is exactly why you're showing them that you are not desperate and if the message gets through us not being desperate, you have a 50% chance that the person will reply back to you. And if, depending on if it goes well, you can even have an in-person meeting with this person. Today, I go through how you can get customers for free on Facebook and also how you can get the clients, your prospect to not just to add you as a friend but to use the right type of message to get back to you. This is important for getting customers free of charge. And this is what we shall do all for all kinds of startups. When you don't already have money and you are small and you want to take on clients for free.